welcome back to scholarly guess which subject we are going to learn today yes maths yes today we are going to start our maths videos and before getting started uh, let me know what's the time yes look at this clock can you tell me what's the time is it oh this clock does not have numbers yes look at it carefully it does not have numbers instead of numbers this clock have symbols and that is the topic for today the topic is roman numerals friends the symbols you are going to uh, see in this clock or you are seeing in this clock the symbols are actually roman numerals roman numbers which we are going to learn today so let's get started so what are roman numerals roman numerals are actually symbols uh, in old times roman symbols were used to write numbers so we call them roman numerals actually in roman script there are seven symbols uh, which were uh, written or which were uh, used to write numbers so uh, which symbols were used to write numbers there were seven symbols like first symbol was letter i then letter v then letter x l c d and m these seven letters were used to write numbers these are the main symbols in roman script so what is meant by this letter i i means 1 then v the value of v is 5 x the value of x is 10 then letter l the value of this letter l is 50 value of c is 100 value of d is 500 and the last symbol m value of m is 1000 so these are the seven symbols in roman script roman script is uh, consists this seven symbols all the numbers in roman uh, number script is written using these seven symbols and uh, if you observe them carefully then you will come to know that there is no symbol for zero there is no zero in roman script so these are the seven main symbols from roman script friends then how can we write other numbers other numbers than 1 5 10 50 100 500 1000 if we want to write other numbers from them then how can we write yes there are certain rules to write roman numbers so let's learn these rules how to write numbers using these symbols so the first rule for writing roman numerals is if either of the symbols i or x is written consecutively two or three times their sum total is the number they make what is the meaning of this rule if either of the symbols i or x that is the symbol i or x is written consecutively two or three times that is i write here one again i write here uh, sorry i and i then if we write this i two times their value is get getting added or we can write here this is i i the sum total is the number they make that is i plus i equals to 2 means the value of this double i is 2 same way if we write this letter i 3 times consecutively that is 3 times i 
then i plus i plus i that is 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 3 the value is 3 3 times i the value is 3 in this way x is also can be written uh, consecutively 2 or 3 times like x double x is equal to x plus x equals to 20 or x plus x plus x that is triple x equals to 30. This is the meaning of this rule that if we write this letter i or x two or three times consecutively then their sum total is the number they make. So this is the first rule for writing Roman numerals. Now coming to the second rule the symbols i or x can be repeated consecutively for a maximum of three times. The numeral V is never repeated consecutively. That means just we have seen in this first rule we can repeat this symbol I or X only uh, a maximum of three times. That means if we can write them two or three times consecutively not more than three times and the symbol V we cannot repeat it at all. So this is the meaning of this second rule. Now the third rule for writing Roman numerals is when either I or V is written on the right of the symbol of a bigger number its value is added to the value of a bigger number. What does this rule tell us? That if we write I or V on the right side of its bigger number. Let's see examples. If we write I on the right side of the bigger number. Suppose V is the bigger number and I write here V I. Then the value of this I is added to the value of this V. That means the value of V is 5 and the value of I is 1. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. One more example if we write V in the right side of x the symbol of a bigger number again according to this third rule the value of this v should be get added to this value of x the value of x is 10 plus v that is 5 10 plus 5 it is 15 that means the symbol indicates number 15 this symbol indicates number 6 so in this way this third rule tells us that if we write i or v on the right side of a bigger number then the value got added to that bigger number. Now rule number four that is the last rule when i is written on the left of v or x then its value is subtracted from the value of v or x. However, the symbol I is not written more than once before V or X. Now what does this rule tell us? Let's see the examples for this. If we write I on the left of V or X. Okay, if I write I on the left of V, then its value get subtracted from the value of V. The value of V is 5. The value of i is 1. 5 minus 1 that is 4. If I write i on the left of x that is i x then we have to subtract the value of i from x. Value of x is 10 minus 1 that is 9. And the rule also tell us that we cannot this uh, we cannot write this i more than once. On the left of this v or x that means we can write only one time i before v or x so this is the rule these are the four rules of writing roman numerals now let's write some numbers using this roman numerals so let's write some international numbers using roman script here are two columns international numerals and roman numerals we are writing some international numbers in first column that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 
and the roman numbers or roman uh, symbols for these numbers are for one the symbol is i for two it is double i for three it is triple i for four i v five v six v i seven v double i eight v triple i the next number is nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen the roman numbers for these international numbers are for nine there is i x symbol for 10 it is x 11 x i 12 x double i 13 x triple i 14 that is 10 plus 4 x i v and the last number is 15 10 plus 5 that is x v so in this way we can write further numbers using roman numerals but uh, remember the rules we have learned before so friends these were the roman numerals and the rules how to write the roman numbers uh, did you like this video do share with us and for watching more videos stay tuned with scholarly till then take care goodbye